Hey guys, this is Ken over at Easy Storage Solutions. Um, here with just a quick how-to video. Um, we're going to go over how to create a map um, on Google with multiple locations. Um, it's pretty simple, shouldn't take too long, but we get this question a lot, so I figured we'd make a quick video so that people can have this you know, to, to refer to when they're doing it. So first off, go to Google, make sure you're signed in. Um, it'll prompt you to sign in here. Um, make sure you're signed in. Click these little this little menu boxes over here. You may need to click more and then just go to Google Maps. If you go to Google Maps, it's going to load up in here. Again, just double check, make sure you're actually signed in under the account that you want to be. So over here, click on this menu tab to the left hand side. It's going to bring up this, this menu bar here. You're going to go click on your places. And then you're going to go and click on maps right there. Okay, now we have some maps in here that we've built over time and stuff. So just scroll down to the bottom if you need to and where it says create a map right here, create map. Click that. It's going to open this, this menu up here. So now the first step once you've done this is let's name your map. So I'm just going to use some, some old addresses of our offices and stuff. But, you know, for example, if this was a self-storage facility, we'll just call it easy storage self storage locations or something like that it could be ABC storage locations or you know whatever the name of your facility is if you have multiple places you can put it in a description you could say something like proudly serving multiple locations in St. George Utah or whatever your town is you know what you can even include your website in there you can do whatever you want um, just don't put too much in there because then it'll kind of drown it out. So keep it one to two sentences. Um, click save. And then so now you can see up here that that's been updated. This is the name of the map. Um, so your first layer, you're going to want right here, it says untitled layer. You're going to name it. So you're going to click on this layer and you're going to name it whatever location. You'd say for us, I'm going to just use the street name that this that this uh, this address is. You could, if you have a name of your facility, you know, like the east location or the north, you know, whatever you want to, you can name it that, but um, I'll just name it the um, Tabernacle location because it's on Tabernacle Street. Okay, so I've named it. Now I'm going to search that actual address here, 205 East Tabernacle Street, St. George, Utah, right there. I'm going to click it. Okay, and it's going to pull it up. I, I want to make sure this is in the right spot, which it is. It's the right building and everything. So I will, right here, I will click Add to Maps. Okay. So now, this location has been added right here. Now, what's nice is you can click this little style button. You can add a star. You can, you know, whatever icon you want to use. It could be this, this. I usually would say either use this little pin or the star. Um, you can choose a different color if you want. It can be, you know, whatever. I just you know, assume gold blue. So I'm going to use stars and then we'll call that good. There's this little pencil here. It's an edit button. You can do this and you could name these, this actual pin. So I could name this, um, you know, ESS storage location, tabernacle, or, you know, you can name it whatever you want. This is the North location, South, whatever it fits your facility. Again, you can put it in description. Um, I'm not going to, but you can type in something basic right there, um, and then and then you click save. So now that's that's been changed, um, and then you can go into the next portion by adding a another you know pin or another location to this. You're going to click add another layer over here on the left hand side. So you add a layer, and then you're going to put in a another um, another actual location so all you got to do is follow the same steps so I'm going to come in here I'm going to say you know, this is my Sir Monty Street or Sir Monty Drive location okay click save same pretty much concept you're just going to come here you're going to search the exact one, my address pops up right there, 2075 Sir Monty Drive, St. George, Utah. So I'll click that, puts it in the right location. I want to double, yep, that's where it's at. Okay, I've double checked it. Click Add to Map. 
I'm going to make it match up. I'm going to make it a star. I'm going to click the little edit button. I'm going to name this Smonty Drive, or I guess we'll match it the ESS storage. Something like that. And, and like I said, that's, I'm just totally being random. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you want to name it. Again, you can add a description if you want. I'm not going to. You can even add a picture um, of your facility or something by adding this image. Um, if you have one saved on your computer or something. So um, click to save the changes. Now, again, just add it. If you want to add another location, you just go into here, add a layer, you name it, you put it in, and just follow these steps. Same same thing, just repeat those steps for however many locations you have. Um, and what you can see is, if you get rid of this, if I zoom out, I have both locations on one map. And if someone clicks on it, it pops up with that information. Okay, so zoom out, make sure you can see all of them in your view and everything. You're going to go here to this little share button. You're going to click share. Now this is important, so this is going to say who has access to it and everything. Right now it's private, so only I can see this, right? So you're going to change this. You're going to want to make this uh, public on the web right here. So anybody can see this. Anybody can, can make this successful. You're going to click save. And then you're going to click done. Okay, so now this is a live map. Anybody can view it, not just me. I'm going to again go back to the share portion. Okay, oops, let me see here. Actually, you're going to go to here. And you're going to hit this little menu, these little three dots. Sorry about that. Hit these little three dots, and you're going to click embed on my site. This is how you're going to actually put it on your website so that people can view it. They can scroll through, click directions, all that kind of stuff. So you can click embed on my site. It's going to give you this little code. You're just going to copy it. You can right click, you can copy it, or you can, you know, command C, whatever you want to do. So you copy that and then go into wherever your website is and then you're going to paste it. Um, you know, for example, if, if it was an easy storage website, and then we'll just go to my website. If this was my website, I'd go and I'd log in and say I wanted to, to place the map right here, or I wanted to, to move, I would replace the video with my map or something. I would just go in, I would I'd paste that code into there, and you're done. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully this makes sense. If there's any questions that you guys have, just let us know. But it, it's pretty simple and easy. Just make sure you're following these steps. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know.